Hello YouTube, it's Dave here aka Retro Rewind. Um, no I've not done many videos lately but hopefully in the coming few weeks I'm going to start to do at least one or two a week just to try and um, catch up a bit because I've been a bit busy at work so I haven't had time to do to do much filming. Um, I thought I'd start by showing you a game I used to play a lot when I was little um, called Maxima. It's a Space Invader clone that was on the MSX uh, range of computers um, and I thought it was very good so I'll start the game and I'll show you what it plays like set the joystick and start the game as you can see it starts with a scrolling background which is pretty good and then you get your, your ship which is pretty good as well oh, oh, and we have a slight technical problem straight away I can't move <laughs> right Okay, on that bombshell, we'll just pause it and carry on in a few seconds. And you're back in the room. We'll start again and see if we can get the game working properly this time. So, we'll start it again. Let's wait for the intro sequence to start. Hopefully we should be able to move right at the time. That's better. So, as you can see, it starts by you've got your scrolling alien raiders going across the top which look like multicoloured paper clips dropping bombs on you. The game itself is made by a company called PSS, I think it was made in 1985. Um, the, the difference about this game in many other Space Invaders clones is, I don't know if you noticed then, but the ship turned yellow and in the bottom bottom right corner you've got a temperature gauge so every time you fire one of your lasers the temperature gauge moves up, there's bombs that drop as well, uh, moves up so you can't just hammer the fire button down because you turn red and then you can't fire anymore until you cool down again. You look a bit like overstretched Pac-Man going across the top of the screen. Ooh, the white bombs you can't shoot, you just bullets go through them. The thing about this game which is really good is all the levels are different, they're not the same level, the no two levels are the same so there's all different tactics to be used by for each different different stage of the game. I have practiced this once today just to give you an idea of what the, what the tactics were because otherwise you just get blown up straight away. Come on you little monkeys. Oh, hit the button bomb. It's a bit fast. It's remembering at what time, time sorry, it's remembering where to go on the screen to avoid the aliens because they are pretty hard to blow up. I do appreciate now what Steve Benway says when it's very difficult to try and play something looking through the viewfinder of a camera. Because <laughs> it is. Come on, you uh. It's also very difficult to talk at the same time and talk at the same time and concentrate. It's true what um, women say that men can't multitask. But then again, as I say to my wife, I'd rather do one thing right than many things wrong. <laughs> Sorry to all you ladies out there. Now the red bomb should blow. Yeah, that should blow the screen up, but it blows up what's ever near, ever near it. It blows up whatever is near it. I kind of can't talk tonight. I'm which if you're near it and it drops lower down, it will blow you up. So oh, come on. That's it. Now I think I'm all right in the middle. No, am I? I can't remember now. Yes, I'm right in the middle here. Oh, wow, I remember until I move to the left and then get blown up. But that, that's the good thing about the game. It's so... It's um, different levels. Just there's tactics involved. It's not just slam, slam, slam the fire button down and blow everything up. I think the MSX computer was a very mis misunderstood computer and not very... not very well rated in this country but it had some really good games for it. I did eventually succumb and buy, and buy a Commodore 64 but not after getting many many years of play out of the MSX I think eventually the keyboard broke on it so I couldn't really do much else with it. <coughs> but the sound's pretty good on it as well. I don't think it's up to par as up to par as the MS. Uh, sorry, the Commodore 64 computer was. Well, obviously with the SID chip, the games were a lot better. You can see they fire quite a lot of bullets down. Luckily, you can deflect the bullets with your bullets. So 
if you misjudge it like I've done a few times, you don't get shot straight away. I don't know what they're supposed to be. Oh no, oh no, for the lemmings one say. Got you now, where do I go? I think it's over here. Can't remember, oh, it's, just, it's the Opal, for the, so the Quality Street, as I call them. I'm going to get trapped in this corner now. It, it does get hard quite quick. <laughs> Let me get it, Matt, just because I'm rubbish at playing games. <laughs> I think the agility that I had when I was younger is not quite there anymore. The eyesight definitely isn't. <laughs> oh, I'm, see, now I've turned well, I can't fire. Ooh. A lucky shot. Oh, oh! Now I'm gonna lose all my lives. Uh, right, the next one is. So I'm on to level six. I think I only got to level six or seven when I was younger because it's so difficult. Oh, it's the magic mushrooms of doom, as I call them. I don't know if you noticed, but these seem to be firing more, and that's a good thing. It does now when you've destroyed one wave, it starts to fire more on the other side. I'm going to get that front one because he's going to. Oh, I thought I'd got him there. <sighs> Cheeky. Come on, yeah. <sighs> Wait for it. <laughs> Got you now, where do I go? I think this is as far as I've ever got. Oh, it's the TIE Fighters. I don't think I've ever got past this level, so this might have been a world record breaking. Oh, I'm going to wait till I've cooled down a bit because if you notice I turn yellow again, I don't want to be going in, not even being able to fire because that would just be suicide. Trying to watch the spaceships and the bullets, very. Oh, it's game over. Game over, man. So that's me playing Maxima. As I say, it's a very good game. I'd definitely give it, what, nine, maybe eight or nine out of ten. And if you can get hold of it for the MSX, if you've got one, I'd definitely recommend it. It's a really good game. I like hours of fun playing that game. Um, very good variant on the Space Invaders theme. So thanks for watching and I should have some more videos out soon.